What is going on today guys? My name's Alex. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about sagging park brake cables on these 4th gen Ram 1500s. So here's my truck about a week ago as I was filming some stuff with my park brake cable sagging big time. It seems like almost every truck owner kind of has to deal with that at some point um, in the life of these trucks. So. Uh, we're going to dive into today and talk about what causes it and the issues behind that. So jumping down under the truck here, um, if you do have a sagging emergency brake cable, you'll probably see it hanging around right about here. Looks kind of ugly. And if you do see something hanging around here, that's probably what it is. It's too bad because I honestly just fixed this this morning on my truck. I had it, I brought it to my shop and uh, just fixed her there when I was doing the oil change. All my tools are there. Just. Uh, it made sense uh, but I wanted to make this video because it seems like a lot of you guys um, but I but I wanted to make this video because it seems like a lot of these trucks have this issue like I just said and I've also seen some guys online um, simply just adjust the adjuster which um, will probably bring that cable back up but for the most part it's gonna be the wrong approach um, because like I said there is usually an underlying reason why this cable is sagging and it has to do with the uh, actual rear park brakes themselves. Um, I don't want to say they're crappy. I don't want to say it's a crappy design from Dodge, but it's kind of a crappy design from Dodge. Um, for whatever reason, they tend to rust over and corrode, and the um, the actual linkage um, mechanism tends to kind of get seized up with corrosion, and they and the park brake kind of just hangs on a little bit, um, which causes that cable just to kind of sag under the truck a little bit. So let me show you underneath the truck what to do if you do have a sag cable, because I, I'm 90% sure this is probably what is going on. All right, let me get all nice and wet here. As you can see, we got some nice fresh snow on the ground, but you know, the things I do for you guys. <laughs> all right, I got my little mechanic light on so we can get some visuals down here. Okay, so. Um, this is your emergency park brake cable right here and as you can see it hooks on to the actual actual mechanism which um, shoots your park brakes out but this morning this was actually more this was much more forward uh, because like I said with the corrosion these things tend to get hung up a little bit so what I did is I just took a hammer a punch and I hammer this back and I'll go over to the other side in a second I'll show you um, the exact same thing was happening, although the uh, brake cable comes up up top. But so this is a quick and easy solution, but it doesn't really, again, get to the root of the cause. Um, but before I get to what you should do, let me just show you the other side um, because it was actually much worse than this one. Nothing like getting dripped on under your own truck. Anyways. Um, all right, so hopefully you guys can see that this is the um, the emergency brake cable coming in again. Like I said, on the upper side this time rather than the lower side. And this one was much worse. This actual mechanism was probably in the center here. And what I did again was just take a hammer and a punch and I just punch her back. But like I said, another just quick, it's an easy quick solution if you don't have time to really dive into what the real problem is. Um, and that will totally bring your... Um, emergency brake cable back into tension and it will no longer be sagging but I guarantee once you um, press the park brake again I guarantee it'll hung up it'll stay hung up just like it was before so like you can probably see um, my brake cable which is right here is no longer sagging it's under pretty good tension and so that pretty much took care of the problem so if I did just go and simply adjust um, the park rate cable right there at the adjuster I'd still have the actual um, park brakes hanging up at the rear so now another reason why you actually do want to really make sure um, the rears aren't hanging up because the actual emergency park brake shoe can actually start to corrode itself and the brake surface material will actually crack and can get hung up on the inside of your rotor um, which will cause a lot of heat and a lot of friction and can actually ruin your fuel economy um, believe it or not so the real correct way to actually do this 
um, is to actually pull this wheel, pull the brakes, and you're probably gonna wanna get yourself a new set of emergency brake shoes as well as hardware uh, because they'll probably all be rusted to shit and you're gonna end up with the same problem if not the first time you use the emergency brake or you know a couple months down the line. So unfortunately the real way to, to repair this sagging emergency brake cable is to get yourself a new set of um, emergency brake shoes. I mean, some guys can get lucky with just lubing up that adjuster down there and uh, it works fine. But if you want to play it safe, get yourself a new set of emergency brake shoes. Um, it's usually the root cause for these sagging brake cables. All right, guys, I hope that makes sense. Um, but there is a little bit more to the uh, sagging emergency brake cable than what meets the eye. Um, like I said, usually you're going to end up probably replacing those emergency brake shoes, which is unfortunate. Um, but if you do just have to get through the day and the next little bit and you're worried about the emergency brakes dragging, get yourself a hammer punch and then just hammer those um, those latches back and you should be okay. Um, and just avoid actually using the emergency brake because like I said, they will get stuck again um, for the most part, unless you're lucky. So that's going to wrap up the video for today. Um, I will leave you with some, uh, I think it's pretty cool footage of me uh, in some deeper snow up on the mountains here. I was hoping to get a little video um, doing some traction control testing, but uh, as you can see, we did get a little bit of snow down here at the bottom and up top, there's about two feet of fresh snow. So um, wasn't able to get a test um, and it didn't seem fair to you guys just to make a little video on me just messing around the snow so I'm gonna end so I'm gonna add that on to this video if you guys want to check that out but if you like this video and if it did help you out maybe leave a thumbs up it's uh you know lets me know I'm doing a good job and it helps the channel out um and if you like stuff like this maybe think about subscribing I did just hit that thousand subscriber mark which is um pretty incredible I never thought I would uh I would reach that I just make these videos kind of for fun and uh just stuff I find interesting about my truck that you guys might also find interesting. Um, and I'm, you know, just incredibly happy for everyone who came on board because there's gonna be so much more cool stuff I plan on doing. I actually just bought, um, just bought some nice chains in here because next week we're going up to uh, the Alpine up on the northern part of the island and there's gonna be a ton of snow. So I got some really nice tire chains because we're gonna put them on and see what this old girl can do. Anyways, I'm gonna put my chains down and I'm gonna get out of here. All right guys, I'm at the spot where I tested maybe a week ago. And as you can probably see, there's about a foot and a half of snow here and my truck just can't do it. Um, there's no way. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to turn this thing around. It's, uh, it's getting pretty bad up here. So I'll show you guys. I'll probably end up getting a little bit stuck in here. Just trying to turn this thing around. I got a shovel, um, so we should be okay, but not today, not today. There's just too much snow up here. Anyways, I'll uh, see if I can turn this thing around and not get stuck. All right, here I am. Uh, just wondering about why I made this fantastic decision to come up here. Uh, but no, I was really just wondering how I was gonna turn this truck around without first of all, uh, sending it over the edge behind me that uh, really didn't want that to happen. 
And then second of all, um, turning this thing around without getting completely stuck where I'd have to uh, bring the shovel out, which would suck. So finally, after assessing the old situation, if you can see, there's a split in the road there, and there are some tire tracks um, going in both directions, which kind of flattened out some of the snow. So I figured if I could use both of those um, tire tracks when I was turning around, that probably be, that would probably give me the best chance of not getting stuck. So that's kind of what I attempted to do. Yeah, so right here I thought I made a terrible mistake. Um, I knew I couldn't back up anymore because, like I said, there's about a 30 foot drop off behind me. And in front of me, there's a little bit of a dip or, or a ditch. So once again, I got out to assess the old situation and uh, see what I could do. So there is a pretty significant slope on this road and it slopes to the right side of the screen. And what I was hoping to do is turn my wheels into that slope um, and then as they spin, hopefully, it would actually just shift the whole front end um, down the slope. And then I was hoping if I could get enough momentum, I could just mash the pedal and really just kind of skip through that ditch and uh, hopefully turning that whole truck back towards uh, the bottom of the hill. Holy crap, guys. I thought I was toast. I thought I was stuck for sure. Oh, I think I just got lucky, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try and make it down this this freaking hill without yeah getting too stuck. I'm worried about a tree coming down. To be honest, if you don't believe me, like you know, it's got a foot and a half of snow and it's wet, which makes it just terrible. But didn't have to put the chains on. Thank God, my hands are a little cold because I'm a little baby. But uh, yeah, we'll get this thing down the mountain and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Jesus. Well, this wasn't here on the way up. That's not a good sign. I was like, I was worried about a tree coming down as I was up there. But this little twig can get the fuck out of my way. This is what I was worried about. But, uh, I think we can get around here without putting this thing in the ditch. Oh God! Scratch, scratch, scratch! Not the paint. Oh yeah.